Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. We'll go to radar first, and here is our storm system number one moving further into the interior. You can see the precip now moving through Nevada and Idaho. On the backside, you've still got snow through Washington, Oregon, and California. California this year will get a bit of a break right now, and then the snow will likely pick back up this afternoon, tonight, and into tomorrow with some additional accumulation. Uh, but here's what I'm seeing this morning. So still looking at a total of four storm systems through now 4-1, and that probably be the end. Um, but the SEER and the Tetons, the numbers, the totals, the grand totals have trended down with this update. I'll show you what those look like coming up. You can see the timeline for the Sierra, the Tetons, the Wasatch, and here in Colorado. In the Northeast, your big day is today for heavy snow accumulations. I'll show you that coming up and just light now on 327. Okay, so let me go back. I'll show you water vapor satellite imagery here this morning. Give you the lay of the land. So on this, whites and blues and greens, your moisture loft. And there's our storm system number one. You can still see it taking its time. Well, this whole thing is going to move down and in through Colorado, down towards southeast Colorado, where it will spin up into a slightly stronger storm. And then you've got another big area of low pressure behind it. And then there's another area of low pressure behind that. But everything is being guided into the west via this uh, this jet setup. So here's the forecast jet by the end of day today. Today you can see the trough moving through California, Washington, Oregon, and again the whole thing is going to pivot into Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. And there you go by tomorrow close of day. Um, here's 325. So by late 324 and early 325, that's when the low kind of spins up in southeast Colorado. And then on the backside, quickly with that type of jet slide you've got right there, there's another low that'll come in very quickly. It's kind of a weaker low, but it'll keep the snow going and refire it in some places on 325 and also 326. All right, so there's 326, close of day. Everything then moves away. Wait for the next storm system, and here it comes, 328. 329, and look how deep it is on 330 and 331. Um, that's going to be a big storm system. And then by 4-1, you're back uh, to a little bit of high pressure ridging across the west. You can see that with the jet bending to the north. All right, forecast preset by 5.30 this afternoon. So again, there's our storm system. The snow continues to slide further into the interior, and it makes its way into Utah, makes its way into the Wasatch, Montana, and we start to see some of it move into Colorado as well. And that's certainly the case by tomorrow morning. You've got snow through the Wasatch, the Tetons, and Colorado continues and the storm matures a little bit by late 324 into early 325 with rain changing to snow for Denver in the front range and then the whole thing drops away by, by early 325 and then we're going to wait here comes the next storm system you see all that energy kind of sliding in on that west northwest flow and then here comes another storm system 327 28 that one slides through the interior west and then the fourth storm drops into California it goes further to the south rolls right through the four corners and nails Colorado. And by 4-1, everything's gone, and we're looking at high-pressure ridging. Okay, so my latest grand total map, by late 4-1, a couple of things to mention. So um, the numbers in the Sierra and the Tetons, like I said, have trended down, and you can see that, obviously, not looking at as much big grand, grand total accumulation, but still, potentially, we still have about two feet of snow yet to go in this forecast period for the Sierra. We still have about a foot, a little bit more in the Tetons, um, one to two, maybe three feet for um, the Wasatch. So those numbers stay big. Brian Head stays big. Um, in Colorado, we're looking at probably one to three feet, and you can see where the numbers are biggest, potentially south of I-70 through Crested Butte down into the San Juans, where we could see right on the cusp of three feet of accumulation. The numbers have gone up for northern New Mexico just because that, that four storm takes a pretty far, pretty hard southern track and nails that area. But look at it about two feet, right on top of the Continental Divide in Colorado, Loveland, A Basin, Winter Park, um, through this time period down into Summit County and Vail. Uh, Montana's numbers have went down just slightly now, looking at probably 8 to 12 inches and about a foot up there in Washington and Oregon. Okay, let me break it down by time period. So today through the end of tomorrow, most of what you see in Utah and Wyoming and Colorado happens tomorrow. Um, you can see the numbers about a foot uh, during this time period in the Sierra. Okay, here's the second time period, 325 through 327. Uh, potentially 7 to 14 for the Wasatch, but only 4 to 6 for the Tetons, um, and potentially up to 8, maybe 10 inches in southern Colorado. So this period not quite as fruitful um, across the board. 
Okay, here's 328 through 41. Uh, you've got the final two storm systems during this time period. And of course, that fourth storm, storm takes a pretty hard southern track. And because of that, it does largely miss the Sierra. And that's where we're missing a lot of the big totals. Eclipse Mammoth on its way through. Brian Head gets, uh, obviously, a big shot of snow. Um, the Wasatch does probably, you know, 10 to 20, somewhere in there. And about one to two feet for Colorado, at least a foot for most locations. Um, but that's a pretty good storm for Colorado for sure. Okay, into the northeast. Today is your big day. We should do two feet of snow in a lot of places across parts of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Um, especially uh, Sugarloaf, Sunday River, you're going to exceed two feet. Mount Washington, and about two feet there for uh, Kellington, Okemo, Magic, Mount Snow, Ragged. Um, but this will be a good storm for a lot of places. And then, like I said, light snow accumulation on the 27th. All right, guys, we'll end on the grand total map here for this morning. Again, grand totals by late 4-1, anywhere in purples over a foot. We're still looking at big accumulations, um, especially in the Wasatch, Colorado. And, and, you know, there's still decent snow yet to go in the Sierra and the Tetons as well. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here again, and have a great day.